Story number nine is our SoCal Spotlight. We're in the heart of Paris, uncovering a sparkling jewel in what many call a land of mystery. Our Shiva Turk is live with a look in Sheeps. I can't wait to see what you got for us. Oh, you know I love a good view, Rachel, and I have a beautiful one for you. I want you to take a look here. We are at Lake Paris Recreational State Park. And listen, I showed you from the outside earlier, but I wanted to show you that you can also see this from the inside. We're inside the Yai Heki Regional Indian Museum, which is about preserving the culture of Native Americans here in California. Phil Harvey is a state park interpreter. Thank you for joining us this morning. And tell me more about this beautiful area first. Yeah, so uh, this is Lake Paris State Recreation Area. It's a uh, man-made reservoir that's uh, part of our uh, California aqueduct system. Oh, it's stunning. Okay, and inside it is the museum. So tell me more about this museum. Yeah, so this museum was uh, established in 1986, and it is a uh, museum to preserve the uh, native culture of um, the people who lived in this region and still mm -hmm. do today. And, and were there several different tribes in this region? Yeah, we represent uh, five tribes here at the museum, mm -hmm. and that's going to be the uh, Lusueño, the Cupeño, Chemuevi, Serrano, and Cahuilla. Wow, and I'm sure there's a lot to learn here. In general, we're not taught a lot of Native American history. Yeah, that's right. A lot of um, a lot of the uh, the culture was uh, was erased, unfortunately, by. Um, acts that were done in history. Mm -hmm. That's why this museum is so important. Okay, so kind of take me through some of the exhibits. What do you hope people learn when they come here? Um, I hope they, uh, they learn an appreciation for uh, how, the, how the people lived here before uh, col colonists and uh, American settlers started coming into the area. Okay, so give us a taste. What are we looking at here? So this is our uh, desert supermarket display. It talks about uh, all of the um, native plants here in the area that were used in everyday life and it compares them to some of the uh, items that we're familiar with today. Okay. And over here we have a uh, display that talks about the, um, the whole process of creating a bow and arrow and the materials needed from start to finish. You can see uh, the whole process of carving it down and how the uh, actual arrows were uh, constructed. Very nice. Let's walk over to this area. What is over here? Uh, so, uh, this uh, talks about some of the story of uh, what happened when uh, colonists moved into the area. And uh, we will be uh, revamping this display in the coming years. And over here we have our uh, mountain lion. Yeah, I noticed a lot of animals in here. Yeah, we do have a nice ta collection of taxidermy. And this mountain lion is uh, the largest cat in North America and uh, can be found here in the park. Oh, wow, really? Does it have a name? Uh, not this particular piece. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to work on naming it, but Rachel, right now, I'm going to send it back over to you. Lots of history inside here, and it's absolutely gorgeous outside, so definitely a spot you got to visit when you come to Paris. Yeah, Sheba, you're going to have to tell us its name tomorrow when Alex and I see you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you got it, girls. All right, thank you.